First, a disclaimer. I enjoy watching Mayank Agarwal bat. I also enjoy people who've come up the hard way, who had to fight their way through, prove a point, break the door down, and then come onto the big stage to get noticed. And Mayank Agarwal has done both. I saw the easy way in which he made the transition into test cricket. I must confess, I didn't think it it would be as easy as that or certainly as seamless as that. But he seems to have taken to test cricket like, like a fish to water. And a double hundred in Vishakhapatnam is just the topping on the cake that I hope is still being baked. There's just a little topping put there. There'll be a few more as, as you go along. Because the one thing that struck you about that innings was the enormous maturity. I think it helped Mayank Agarwal that all the focus was on Rohit Sharma. And once Rohit Sharma gets in, he just plays some incredible shots. And so Mayank Agarwal was able to play his game. Just wear out the bowling a little bit, hit a single there, hit a single there, hit a six out. That kind of innings building. And yet, if you had told me three years ago, four years ago, that this is the Mayank Agarwal we will see in Test Match Cricket, I'd have said no. I used to get frustrated watching Agarwal bat because I'd see him in the IPL and he'd, every innings, he'd play a shot or two that you'd say, ooh, wow, what a shot. And then suddenly, it would be followed by, ah, oh, there we go, beautiful, eye-catching 20s, 30s. And you thought, well, maybe. I mean, it's, it's not, not everyone's got to learn to bat six hours, eight hours. That's the way they see, they see life for themselves. And I thought that is where Mayank Agarwal was headed. And then you saw the runs starting to pile on 100 here, 100 there. Now, in Indian domestic cricket, you score 200s, nobody looks at you. You score 3, you score 5, you score 6. You knock on the door, still nobody looks at you. It's when you start beating the door down that people start to notice. It's something Priyank Panchal has been doing for two years. It's a similar story to what Mayank Agarwal had done. To that extent, he reminded me of someone else I have an enormous amount of admiration for. VVS Lakshman. When he chose to become a middle order batsman, he went back and he just scored runs after runs after runs or something like 1400 runs in, in a first class season. And playing those long innings, they helped Lakshman come back and then carve a niche for himself in that very difficult number six position as Hanuma Vihari is discovering. And so you had no option but to look at Mayank Agarwal. I was quite intrigued to know what had brought about the change. And there's something very interesting I heard in a, in a couple of videos that he had shot earlier. One is to get into something uncomfortable that he ran and he ran and he ran. He didn't enjoy running because you hit a wall at some point. Anyone who's run a little bit will realize you hit a wall at some point and then it's very easy to say, right, that's it. But to embrace what is uncomfortable and so he said that is how he learned to play time. A lot of, and this is something that's very interesting for a lot of people who are coming in from T20 that playing a few pretty shots doesn't get you too far. Play time, play sessions and suddenly here was Mayank Agarwal, a bit like a firecracker, boom, 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 and gone, playing time. And I, I, I like to see that, that transformation that has taken place in him. I like the fact that he talked about being calm and breathing before he went out to bat at, at the MCG as well. And it tells you that here's someone who's trying to be very calm. So the reason I'm telling you these stories about Mayank Agarwal is sometimes you look at the scores but what the scores do not tell you is the transformation that has taken place in the person that has produced the scores. And that's why I'm so happy to see someone with such a calm, unflappable temperament. And I, I hope he plays, uh, I hope he has a long, uh, lo long innings in international cricket. You, you never can tell what comes up. But from what we've seen so far, he scored runs in Australia. Now he's got the opportunity to come and score runs in, in India. West Indies, the conditions weren't that easy too. Remember, and he got, uh, what, 40s and 50s there. But when he got in, he made it a double. And I think that is what comes through from what he has done in domestic cricket. Vijay Hazare, he made runs in there. T20, he made runs. Just that one IPL in between, that was, uh, well, that was a little blip. But, uh, but otherwise, he scored runs everywhere. And I think that, that, that is something that will hold him in very good stead too. Delighted to see Mayank Agarwal. I'm looking forward to seeing him score many more because there's something very pleasant about him when he scores runs.